All right, so I finally had some time to get this thing put back together, and I guess the spot where the damage was at, you can't really see it, but that's besides the point, right? Like, it's a principle. Like, I'm coming from a principled stance now. Um, but anyway, so, taking a look at it, here's how everything looks put together. So you've got the console area, you've got the three chairs and whatnot, and then kind of the base where the troopers are coming through, and then you got this elevator, which this elevator does move. I don't know that it's going to move here. No, I guess I guess it will. So it it does move just to give y'all kind of an idea and whatnot. Um, but I think for me, I'm going to leave it sort of like that, um, just because, and then the rocket does, it does have a spot where it, it tilts, as you can see right there. These things are held on by tension. So you can loosen it and then tighten it and then set you know your adjustment your adjustment level how you want it. Um it does have a platform for your figures to stand. <laughs> Excuse me. Um and then you see back here like the the details and whatnot. It looks good. I mean, don't get me wrong, for what this is, it came together really nice and it looks good. You know, you gotta have appreciation for all this um, extra detailing. And then here's a platform where you can have a figure just sort of standing there. Um, so yeah, so that's, set and there's another platform there oh and it should be noted just for demo purposes the elevator does uh, hold will I should say will hold a figure or two so that's it for the uh, for the base so I'm going to set this aside, and then what we'll do is we'll bring in, oh, bring this a little closer, Let's pan out, um, I've got Old Faithful there, so I guess for starters, here's Cobra Commander. And how he comes. It's got the traditional red backed Falcar, which is it's a nice throwback. And it is simply taped shut. So I don't have my exacto handy. So that's how we're gonna do this today. So it comes out. There's the file card should be noted it came with this nice little file card display and you can just drop the file card right in there um, so looking at the figure I know that earlier it was noted that he had the red paint stripe here but not here which is just inexcusable um, I mean let's just call it what it is right and Wow, the articulation on this guy. I know they didn't incorporate soft ratchets, so I'm not sure what that is. Because um, again, these are all parts that have been used before. But I guess we should say, looking at the figure, head does have a nice silver paint finish on it. It's actually, it's actually a really nice. Um, Finish. And then you have the what's known as the Mickey Mouse insignia right there. 
red paint on the belt, spot for his dagger, and then, I mean, this is the traditional Cobra Commander with the uh, sculpt kind of dithered out for his, um, for his experimental blaster. And this guy, I'm not going to get him to stand, so I'm just going to sit him right there for a second while I dig into the weapons and accessories. So he's got his stand, two prong, two prong stand, comes with helmet. No paint, no silver paint on it, which is disappointing. Comes with his dagger. And the gun that we've seen many, many iterations of. Um, just go ahead and plug that in. See how it holds. It does hold pretty good. Helmet goes on with no problems. Um, I'm gonna have to take some paint and do something about this because this is that's bothering me that they included the sculpt work for it but no paint. Um, I mean I get it. Whatever. You can argue they're going for a vintage look. I don't know what that figure looked like. Vintage. I'm not a vintage guy. I'm getting out of the O-ring game because I prefer the modern look and feel. But He's not going to hold his stand good, and that's, I mean, that's a problem. Let's see. I'm going to set it down real quick. Go off camera. See if I can sort of get him to conform to his stand. And that's about as good about as good as I'm going to be able to get it, unfortunately. Um, but we'll just go ahead and get him geared up. And I realize we're doing this a little differently than we traditionally do. But, you know, change is good. Change is good. Okay, so it should be noted. See the peg next to his foot? Um, I can't get that to go in. So, that's a bummer. His joints overall, they feel very stiff. Like, I'm scared I'm going to break something. Um, there's the 360 degree look. That red paint stripe going down the pant leg, but not on the other, is really bothering me. It's really bothering me. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I can just tell you my thoughts, my opinions on the on the matter here, but this figure feels a little subpar. Especially given what, you know, what we paid for the set. I mean, that and the fact that my box came damaged and the internal contents were damaged, etc. Um, yeah. I don't know. So, I think I'm going to cut the video here and we'll do separate videos for each of the troopers but so far I don't know I mean the set is cool don't get me wrong the set the playset is cool for what it is it's just the fact that no one mine has some damage sort of behind the scenes is a bummer um, so yeah so do I recommend the set as a whole mm, I guess if you can get it at retail price you should do it if you can't get it at retail price it's an easy pass easy pass. I mean, you're paying $49.99 essentially for a pretty box and the contents, they're they're strewn about really just loose in there, which is uh, a bummer. So, food for thought. So yeah, so like I said, I'm going to end this video here and we'll be back with, I'll be back with one more video to do these guys. So, we'll talk about those guys. So yeah, so until next time, hope you guys take care. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Um,
appreciate y'all tuning in. Catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for thanks for tuning in.